Bears. How do you follow that up? You got something? I got nothing. All right. Um, luckily for us, it is the last 1v1. <laughs> they don't need to trump uh, that one, the last intro. But yeah, unfair to Faker. We heard an in intro. Yeah, I mean, uh, I saw I saw in the highlights from yesterday, Faker was saying his masteries were messed up. But I mean, Mato was telling him, oh, no excuses, no excuses. <laughs> I so. love how Mato was like, no, no, no. And we, we, finally, get a, we finally get an insight in the way Faker approaches his uh, his games. It's no. It's not just a rift. It's all a big mental wargame. Yeah, there you go. He's, he's already lining up the excuses. You know, come on, Faker. Even Faker blames like external sources. Yep, exactly. Teaches us that we can always blame our teams in Solo Queue. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the lesson to walk away with. Yeah, uh, all, from stars. all stars. Yeah. All stars. If nothing else has taught us, you can blame your teammates. I mean, Yankos was in there a little bit. You know, halfway. Yep. Shade at his uh, team. Faker definitely. You know, making some excuses with the masteries. Wrong runes. I mean, you maybe maybe that's the key to becoming good at League of Legends. I mean, if European Solo Queue has <laughs> taught me anything, <laughs> it is exactly exactly that. All right, I'm very keen to see what's gonna happen here. Mata versus Prey. Um, they definitely can talk to each other. He's also super. Look at him, like Mata is hopping in his chair left and right. Prey is pretty much always smiling, so they kind of can bet your money on it that they will be talking to each other. Yeah, I think these guys are looking to have a lot of fun. I mean, Mata has has really been one of the few guys who I think has really been embodying All-Stars. You know, really having a lot of fun with it, joking around. He's he's not taking anything too seriously, but he's also coming to play and, and performing, and that's kind of what we really love to see. And he's also just, like, really damn good player. Not just on support, like, he's like a legacy player. If Faker didn't exist, then Mata could probably apply for Best League of Legends player of all time. Who do you apply to? Huh? The fans. The fans? You apply to the fans? The court, the go court. door to door, start knocking on doors, kissing babies. <laughs> the court of fandom <laughs> definitely decides that one. Sadly, no wards uh, on this map, so Mata can't show. Yeah, uh, we, need, we need a new mode, really. You know? <laughs> who can one ward showdown? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who can have the most vision control? It's two guys, one bush. <laughs> who it's can the, control the wards? It's like rock, paper, scissors with sweepers, wards, and control wards. <laughs> exactly. All right. Like Minesweeper. Find the wards. Rengar eliminated. Somehow Prey thinks that Mata is going to whip out the Rengar. Well, Kosta is still available. Uh, 480 is off the table. We haven't, I don't think we've seen Kosta yet, actually. No, we saw her at IWCA. Okay. Uh, basically, where they, the approach they were taking was stacking up the Ren stacks on the creep. And when it's low, you, you kill the Q, and then obviously you kill the minion with Q, yeah. and then you transfer over the stacks to uh, the opponent, hopefully behind it. Yeah, just max Q and E. You don't need put points in W or yeah. ultimate. So. Yeah, <laughs> don't have somebody to throw around. Um, the one time you do want your support there, but it's it's been nerfed too much. I feel like yeah, just uh, significantly weaker. Yeah. Oh well, it's gonna get locked. So we'll see. Oh, Yasuo comes in. Oh, something. <laughs> Mata hit the table so hard the camera got knocked off. Well, oh, we that's gone. Have... He's actually been replaced right now. Is that Froggen right there on stage? <laughs> <laughs> no, still Mata. Well, it is going to be Mata with the Yasuo. Can he make magic happen twice in a row? This one is going to be very exciting. Oh, the crowd rallying behind Mata. It's really fun to see just so much personality kind of come out of him right there. He's just super excited. It's a good matchup, too. It's very hard for Kalista because all our spells, yes, you can bend execute, but. To set that up, and both the Q, they're all projectiles. So wind ball is super strong. Yeah, it definitely is. But I mean, Prey, Prey I think he's going to have a lot more experience on Kalista than, than Mata has on Yasuo. I mean, Mata is rumored to have quite a few accounts that he plays in like um, different roles. He has like role specific accounts. Like, wouldn't be surprised if he's spamming like Yasuo mid or top. And Prey probably hasn't been playing too much Kalista lately. That's very fair. I mean, uh, Kalista has been making a little bit of a comeback, I think, with the, the Blade of Rune King buffs yep. and, and things like that. Uh, so I have been seeing people at least trying it out more. Um, but Also, it's not. super fun to be a support thrown in by Kalista, and you actually have uh, Courage, Courage of Colossus. Colossus. There you go. <laughs> Increased chance to not die. Yeah, big. Safety? Yes, please. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is where we want to look at uh, Runes and Masters. Yesterday, Mata was like running a 1% crit. He no longer is. Oh, yeah, he is actually. He is. Okay, 1% crit. 40% attack speed, he has run... Mata's running magic resistance. Ooh, that's a bit unfortunate. 
Unlucky. He's preparing for the static ship, Crepo. Yeah. He's <laughs> thinking about the late game. Late game. He is running as Zale's favorite page, which is 18-0-12. Uh, but he's not taking Perseverance. Um, and I, I do I do kind of like Perseverance over Insight. It's like, how many times are you really going to get advantage out of the summoner cooldown? Like, are you really going to get in all in with your double summoners, then walk out, then get them back, and then all in right away instantly? But if you're as good as Mata, how long, how many times are you going to be low enough for Perseverance? Jack? Ooh, there you go. Yeah, you, you don't you know? take damage. You know if you don't take damage, maximize when that you shield. you get to a certain skill level, the <laughs> auto attacks apparently do not deal damage to your character anymore. That's fantastic. That's what it feels like playing against some players. Uh, Prey super standard 80 carry page, guys, but he, he is not running uh, MR. Uh, Mastery is Prey is running 18-0-12 as well. And more importantly, he's running Perseverance. Perseverance. He's got my vote. <laughs> He's got the seal of approval from Zale. Perseverance for 1v1s. But we're looking at the screen here again. Mata full HP, Prey on 60%, so maybe the theory does apply. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely true. We'll, we'll see. Prey should hit uh, level 2 here faster. Yeah, we'll see. 7 minion. First melee creep for the second wave, right there. Pop. Uh, but this is actually pretty scary, though. I mean, when Mata hits 2, it's a lot scarier because he could just dash in on him and, yeah, and really look for the trades, then dash out. Oh, yeah. I really like the concept of, like, exit creeps on both Yasuo and Irelia. Yep. And he also did an auto Q right oh, off God. here. This could be an all-in. I think Prey's in trouble. If he hits the Q, Prey's probably dead. Oh, that's a bad barrier. Oh, oh. this is really going to be close. The friend? Oh, he's done. The crowd loves it, and Mata is pumped up. I mean, you called it at that point. He wove in auto, bad barrier by Prey. Yeah, you did not want to stick around when uh, uh, Yasuo has a health advantage on you. Yeah, and, and he was sitting on the tornado. He had the third Q ready. He dashes in right onto Prey, and Prey not expecting.